I read books about about that stuff just because I, at the end of the day, wanted my son to be my son. And when we left practice, we talked for about five minutes, and then we shut it off. Oh, man, see, I have another podcast. Hey, this is good advertisement. Yeah, here. good, good. <laughs> I have another podcast podcast called the ride home and it talks about uh exactly that yeah you know it's usually the athlete's nightmare yeah to to get in that car with with a this third parent or a parent that feel that their son is god or whatever or regardless but um and maybe you could be that guy as well yeah um, it's it's um and I'm telling you, that ride. The ride home is real. It, it, it is it's real. real. It's very, it could be very delicate. You yeah. could make or break your athlete. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I coached him for four years, and, you know, he had a lot of great games, had a lot of bad games. And I can remember, you know, I love my dad to death, but I can remember the night that I scored 48 points, set the school record, and had 24 re- rebounds, set the school record. And he told me, you know, if you'd have made your free throws, you'd have had 70. Damn. As soon as I got in the car. And Damn. so I laid back in the car, went to sleep, and that's how it was, um, you know. And I wanted to make sure that uh, that I never wanted to put him in that situation because at the end of the day, man, that's your kid. My my ride home story was uh, Daniel. Daniel is uh, twenty four now. He's my oldest. We were at Northwest Stokesville. Okay. Uh, he he might have been eight, and at that age level. Usually the pitcher and the first baseman are the, the best two players. Sure. So he was pitching, um, and we were playing a team that uh, we're going. We're, this was the championship. This is for to win the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, the big championship. The big championship yeah. at eight years old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. So I called time, and I told there was a runner. There was a two outs. We were up by by one, and there was a runner on first base with two outs, and I. So I called Tom. I was like, hey, Daniel, if you get the ball, I know you want to get the force out because you want to play real baseball. Let, let's, 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 hit, uh, let's hit first base with it, okay? What does he do? It, it, it happened. It, it goes to him. He turns around and tries to throw the second base for the force out. And, of course, the, you know, he, he wasn't the strongest fielder. And it, whoop. Oh, yeah. So the batter turned it, it turns into a home run for him with, sure. with, with errors, of sure, course. Sure. And they, we ended up losing. So I'm like, I'm like, Daniel, I told you. That. He, he looked at me and goes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? So when we got, we got in the car and we, we had already had a discussion on, hey, whatever happens on the field stays on the field. Whatever happens on, on the mats stays on the mat. It never goes home with us. Right. Great man, advice. He, he look. He looks at me. And he goes, "Dad, it was so and so." I was like, and I I blew up on him, and and I and I realized like, what am I doing? Yeah. What am I fighting with an eight year old right. over a a little league right. I know. championship that some televised about? It's not even televised on TV or anything, you know. But but I was like, I felt this small. Right. This small. Right. And you we've know. all had those parenting blunders where. You know, we get caught up, you know, and I'm sure my dad, you know, never thought another thing about it, never hit it, never crossed his mind. He was my be- biggest supporter. You know, he, he'd follow me when even when I went to junior college and I was getting a minimal run up there and he would still, he would follow just to get a chance to see me, uh, you know, lace him up. Um, but I think we've all made those mistakes and how it affects the kids might be different from, you know, one time you might hit him and you could have done that same thing and it not bothered him. But the next time it, that might scar him for life. You just never know. And I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure my dad now who's in his seventies and I, here I am at 49 and I'm talking about an event that happened, you know, 40 years ago, but stuff like that, you gotta, as a parent, you gotta understand, you know, what your limits are. Yeah. So, but but you know the the good news is that that was my first and last. You know I felt wow. so bad, wow. so bad. Well, that's good. And, that's a good dad right there. Yeah, and and you know especially in wrestling, wrestling. I'm not saying that basketball, wrestling. You know you win. The athlete wins, the family wins. Yeah. The athlete loses, the family sure. loses. You know because sure. it, it's it's more personal. It's one on one. It's one on one. You know like man. like. And another dude beat the hell out of my son. Yeah. You know, that that's, it, it feels some kind of way. It's not yeah. cool. Yeah. You know, and, and team sports are not, 
are not like that. You know, uh, I've never, my, my daughter was a dancer, uh, a competitive dancer. And, you know, even dance dad would be like, what do you mean? You know, she got, she didn't place in the top three or four in that category. Like she dominated that and it's all judgmental. And, and so, yeah, I mean, we all, I and mean, it's, when it's your kid and just one other person, yeah, I can get that. Yeah, especially when it's like very physical. So, uh, so I know wrestling uh, brought a lot of right home moments for me. And, sure. And because the first time with my son Daniel, I knew he had to stay in the mats. And it, it was harder on me than him because he, he was like, la, 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 yeah. la, la. And I was just like, dude, you, yeah. <laughs> you, just, just, got get, you just got sweat. <laughs> dude just sweat the mat with uh, you. And he's, and he's like, uh, it was just difficult. It just tells, it was very it was difficult. Just, yeah, and it just goes to show you that and when they're that young, they ain't thinking about that. They're thinking about what they want for dinner. <laughs> you know, And that's what a parent should do when they get in the car. How you feel about it? And what do you want for for dinner. That should be it. Just leave it. Yeah, leave it. man. If they want to talk about it and they want to, what did you think? Then you're opening the door for me. All right. Do you really want to hear? Because if I'm going to talk to you about it, let's talk about it.